So here is a little bit of confusion for Quebec Nordiques fans. When Michel Bergeron signed to be head coach of the Quebec Nordiques for the 1980 season, some people were slightly confused. They were thinking it was the Michel Bergeron who actually was drafted by the Nordiques in round six of the 74 inch WHA amateur draft. But this Michel Bergeron came out of the Q League, a highly rated prospect, and actually set the Detroit Red Wings rookie record for uh, goals with 32 in 1976 and it looked like he was going to have a promising career but injuries and other factors played against him. So today we're going to be talking about the interesting case of a right, the right winger Michel Bergeron. Now uh, he was drafted by the Red Wings in round four of the 74 draft after a really really complete uh, three offensive seasons with the uh, infamous and very celebrated Sorrell Blackhawks of the Q. His last season in Sorrell, he had 143 points in 70 uh, regular season games and 26 points in 14 playoff games. Now, he uh, sort of made Detroit's lineup in 75. He basically played uh, 10 games. Now, uh, in, tw in 20, uh, excuse me, 10 goals in 25 contests. He did score a goal in his first NHL game. But he missed at the end of the 76 uh, season with a right in eye injury suffered in a March 24th, 1976 game for against Washington. Now, he could have probably easily scored 35 goals that year, but he scored 32. Now, he was eventually traded, of all uh, things, to the New York Islanders on October 20, 1977 uh, for Andre St. Laurent and did score twice in his first contest with the Islanders in 77. But unfortunately, injuries uh, hit him again uh, that season when he lost most of the campaign uh, with, with a back injury. Now, he was on the comeback trail for quite some time. Uh, that 77-78 season, he uh, eventually found his way to get back in the NHL with Washington, and he got seven goals in 30 games. Now, Montreal guy was very interested in him in 1980. He did sign with the, with the Habs. Played with the Voyagers for most of the season, also with the Milwaukee Admirals, but he didn't make the big club. But from then on, he was mired in the IHL, putting up some good numbers. And uh, what was a very uh, strange, ladies and gentlemen, he had uh, he had played with the CHL squad uh, that made the playoffs in '77, uh, who would have won, of course, the regular season playoff uh, titles. And he also played with the Fort War team that won the CHL regular season playoff crowns, but again, while was not with the team in the postseason. So, you know, good results would follow him. Now, final NHL statistics, uh, and uh, who knows what a career of injuries wouldn't have taken him out because he only retired when he was 27, ladies and gentlemen, quite young. So with Detroit, New York Islanders, and Washington, 80 goals, 58 assists, 138 points in 229 games. A very smooth skater, a very smooth uh, scorer. Uh, the only problem is, ladies and gentlemen, was the plus minus in 1976 <coughs> he was plus two with those 32 uh, goals 77 the big problem here 33 points including 21 goals minus 40 minus 40 ladies and gentlemen i know the detroit Red wings weren't the uh, the best uh, uh, tool in the shed but he was second place on uh, the uh, the red wings for scoring that year and let me uh, let me tell you they're uh, <laughs> They, uh, they had a, had a rough season that year. They, uh, that year, they gave up over 300 goals, ladies and gentlemen, so you can imagine. In the, in the, in the mid-1970s, that's, uh, that's not what you want to see. So Michel Bergeron, a very, very good Q prospect, had some success in the NHL, but was held back by injuries. Like we talked about a case in a previous podcast with Lowell McDonald. It just seems like some of these 20, 30-goal snipers after the third or fourth year, the injury bug really hit them, and there was not like the the, uh, the medical uh, situation we have in 2020. Recovery was long and arduous, and any knee or back or shoulder injury could be the rest of their career because, as you know, back then there was, the boards were like uh, senior hockey boards at Sea Trail Canada weren't very forgiving. So thanks for listening. That's the story about the hockey player, Michel Bergeron. Thanks for listening. Bye.